Oh. Yeah, that one. Oh, pitch. That one to another hole. Darn it. I. Uh, oh, this drives me crazy. I'm sorry, you guys. I got a lot in my mind right now. I'm, tr I'm trying. so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a versus video between the rigid brushless drill versus the Ryobi brushless drill now both of these drills are actually pretty small which is good because they're not neither of these are hammer drills so they don't need the additional uh, size nor space for the hammer feature so, so I just got this drill uh, I, I have the uh, rigid hammer drill which I cannot believe I haven't done a video about this yet, uh, which coming soon, this is going to be versing Ryobi, Makita, Hilti, DeWalt, and Milwaukee, and what else do I have? When it comes to this test, this test is going to be perfectly fair when it comes to the tool and the batteries, because what we're going to use in this uh, video, we're going to use a 3 amp hour octane battery for the rigid, and we're going to use a 3 amp hour compact HP battery for the Ryobi. Now this specific battery, this is my, out of all the batteries that I own through the Hilti, Makita, Milwaukee, Cobalt, oh, Rigid Against Cobalt 2, sorry, uh, DeWalt, this is my favorite battery that I own because this is a very special Ryobi battery that it's hard to find. Even at the Home Depot website, you cannot find this in the search when it comes to the uh, looking up batteries. You To get this battery, you need to look up the model number, which is P195. So this is actually a very unique battery. I'm pretty sure you, you can get this over at uh, Direct Tools. But uh, when it comes to Home Depot, uh, you need to look up the model number for this battery. Because this battery uh, is a uh, Ryobi. 3 amp hour compact HP battery with 21700 cells instead of 18650. And so uh so yes. So the model number for the rigid is R6009 half inch uh, metal truck with a plastic housing around it. Uh this is two speed settings. This is 0 to 550 on speed 1 and 0 to 2100 on speed 2. And it does not say anything about the torque, which I'll put the torque in right now. But this thing, uh, this thing is a little, uh, little powerful drill. The sound of it's pretty cool. I like the way that Rigid's motor sounds. It's a little loud, but I like that little wind. So the LED light on the base, Octane battery. Uh, it has uh, this is brushless, so this does not support the Octane batteries. Only octane tools support the true octane of the batteries. But the cells inside will majorly help the tool's performance, even though it's not octane. The one thing that's completely uh, strange about uh, Rigid's clutch is uh, Rigid's clutch has a hundred and like 110 points, and then uh, on this one it has just a, a, a drill. All right, so the Ryobi uh, brushless model. Uh, the model number for this is P252, half inch metal chuck with a plastic housing. Uh, two speed settings, uh, first speed is 0 to 500 and on speed 2 it is 0 to 1800, which that is approximately 400, no, sorry, 300 less than the rigid when it comes to RPMs. Uh, it is a brushless motor of course. I love the way that uh, Ryobi's motor sounds as well. Uh, it has a... Uh, light at the base it has a little magnet on the base as well along with the belt uh along with a bit holder rigid has a bit holder as well on the back and so this has a nice ratcheting clutch see like it, when it clicks you know it's in the position and so this has a 22 point clutch plus one and yes yeah, so that is the ryobi and this is the special battery that i'm talking about See, so yeah, as you can see, it is a uh, model number for this is P195. 
So if you want to check this battery out, go to Home Depot's website and type in P195. It'll bring this battery up. But this is a very special battery because as you can see, it's almost the size. It's a little bit bigger than the 1.5 amp hour. So this battery is actually unique. And remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. I think a three quarter inch, I think a three quarter inch uh, drill bit is a little too much. So we are gonna use a five eighths instead for these. We're, first we're gonna use a three sixteenths Bosch self-driving spade bit. Then we're gonna go to the one inch. So we're gonna use the Ryobi first. Battery is full, it's on speed two, it's on drill. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. I'm gonna have to redo that. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, we're gonna do one more, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two holes uh, for each of them, and then whoever did one hole the best time is the winner. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, it is Rigid's turn. Battery is full. Uh, speed two, it's on drill. At least I think it's on think yeah it's on drill do it right here all right so ready go time yep, that broke off that did not go into another hole i see that very good that's good all right so one more ready it's at a point where i'm just gonna put a good distance between them every hole all right so Ready, go. Time. Right, we're gonna step this up to a one inch hole. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. It was, it was through. Ready, go. Yeah, see it's through. We are just going to do two holes. Battery is full. Oh, battery's down to three bars. Speed two. It's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Yep, it's, it's through. Yeah, see, this is what it just broke off. All right, so ready, go. All right, so we are gonna jump up to the 5 eighths. It is Ryobi's turn. Both half inch chucks. We are actually going to see what these can do with a three inch Milwaukee hole dozer. Now these are not brand new. This is not brand new. Well, we will see what this can do. Does that pass everything? Yeah, sorry, right. it is on speed two, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. What a difference when it comes to comparing it to like uh, uh, their bigger brothers, hammer drills. What a difference. Right there should be good. We clear everything? Yes, we do. All right, so ready. Up oh, battery is at three bars still. Speed two. All right, so ready, go. Drill shut off. Oh. Time. We 
are going to do one hole with the one, one and a quarter inch speed bore. There we go. We are going to do speed one because I know this cannot handle speed two. Speed one, it's on drill. Battery is at three bars again. Very good. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Right here is good. It's on speed one. Drill. All right, so ready, go. Time. Don't worry, you guys. My wrists are fine. I let go of this as soon as it's out of, you know, I let go. All right, so for the final test, what we are going to do is we are going to just drive in two timber locks each and then take them out uh, at the same, uh, take, each of them is going to take two out at once. We will be first because I think Ridge did the last test. I think try to keep them on the same line. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so Rigid is next. Going back to speed two. It's on drill. All right, so ready, go. All right, so next is Ryobi. So ready, go. Do ridges right underneath it on the same line. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, now Ryobi is gonna take two out. It's gonna take the two top ones out because the two bottom ones were Rigid. All right, so ready, go. All right. Time. Rigid's turn. All right, so ready, go. All right. See, that's why when it comes to these tests, if the two screws are in this, the same area, it has the same density of the that sp specific screw. So if I did both of the Ryobis right there and did both the ridges on this side, uh, it would be a totally different test, which is why I do them in the two screws in the same area as the other, uh, the other drill. Say a quick temperature reading. 82. I saw 89, but... Uh, all I can get is 82 from the rigid and the Ryobi or 94 on the Ryobi. All right, so let's look at the final battery. Life is at two bars for the rigid and the Ryobi is at two bars as well. So they equally both drain their batteries for these tasks. Now, when it comes to the body, the rigid is heavier and it feels a bit stronger than the Ryobi. The Ry I, I will admit, the Ryobi feels a little bit cheaper when it comes to the uh, the body. And uh, the Ryobi is a lot more comfortable to, to hold than the Rigid is. I do not like this light paddle that they have on the, uh, on the handle for the Rigid. I Both are strong enough to do the jobs, as you can see. None of the clamshells felt like they were separating at, at all. And they both have great power. I do not know what the results are, but don't hate me for them. So I just want to do the test between the Ryobi and Rigid drills. More tests are coming. Rigid uh, and Ryobi are going to face Makita, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Hilti. So that's pretty much it. Both of these are brushless tools. Both, both of these tests were equal. Both of them use special batteries. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time.